Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. So right now we're going to be giving the bread we made last time to slap to face me. I mean, not slap. Because we want to try to talk to Luke's my boss. Bread, huh? It's not cake, but face meat is starving. It's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Please get my friends. <laughs> Face me appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. Hey, of course I saved you, okay? You're one of my best friends. Well, I just hope Ivor isn't too jealous. <laughs> oh, come on, it's Ivor. He's good. Me too. Here. Oh, Jesse, <laughs> man, is it good to see you? You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Ivor is in his underpants. Uh, what are you wearing? Right. <laughs> Shut up. My <laughs> outfit Anyway, how's it been going oh, out here? Just... You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. As long as we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the Atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the nether together forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. Well, at least y'all be together. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible! And we weren't in there that long. We can't just leave. I really think we can win this. Good. We need to. Apparently this guy Tim did it. Yep. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. <laughs> well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. Oh, I didn't think he'd come back. Hey, now! I said Ooh, he would help. I, I'm That's sorry, right Harper. Here. Harper's been filling me in about you. I keep on From doing the, the right thing. she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you <laughs> might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting. You being here. I can feel change in the air. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point. But you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Yeah. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. Yeah. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. <laughs> Wonderfully! <laughs> oh, poor Ivor. Stuck in his underpants. Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the game. 
<laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, Purple it team. is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, on Green team. Well, Melia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? No idea. Definitely weird, though. All right, competitors. The next event is almost upon us. It's obviously Time something to, to try to, to give them the hope. Starting line. Starting line, huh? A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? Boom! Surprise locker room visit. Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask. They Tim. better be about that, Adrian. <laughs> I admire Jeez. your confidence. Has a powerful but stare. I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? Whatever you're throwing at us can't be any worse than the other stuff we've already survived. Oh, really? Yep, that's because true. It seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes. Perhaps yeah. we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Em might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or you can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them. Then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. We'll trust. Gladiator Junction. We'll trust them. That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm Hopefully. ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint: it's going to involve a lot of punching and kicking. All around awesomeness. Remember, there's no I in teamwork, Petra. Yeah, but there is a me, and I'm gonna kick their butts. <laughs> Not really a me, and I'm gonna kick their butts, but I'm, I'll, I'll accept that. Oh wow, yellow hates us. Oh, telling us we're going down. Oh, we're so we're taking red spot. Psst, Jesse. I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together. And I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. We can do this. Uh yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. <laughs> Competitors! Alrighty. Mark. Here we go. Get set. Something just tells me there's gonna be a lob up ahead. Oh, I knew it. Lava. Whoa, watch out! 
you can hear the other competitors just going through it. Oh my god, this is like hole in the wall. Oh, I have to jump through a hole. Oh wow, that's a very tricky hole. Oh, this is fun. Oh, we did it. This has been pretty tough. Can't wait to see what else they throw at us. Get ready to witness some greatness. Greatness, huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, geez. Anyway, jumps. Oh, geez, this guy's coming after me. Jeez, how many yellow guys is are there? Sorry, buddy. Oh, jeez, I got hit by the lava. Not quite. Oh, jeez, <laughs> this is getting crazy. Oh, going down a hole. At least we took down some of the yellow guys. Oh, this must be Gladiator Junction. Okay, sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? Oh, my body! <laughs> well, that answers that question. Oh, geez, there they are. Oh, wow, that poor guy. Jeez. Greatness don't fail me now. Jesse. So, you ready for the fun part? I sure hope so. Come on then. <laughs> Glad she's with us, Jesse. Yeah. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh yeah, Slab, because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> Oh jeez, got betrayed. Ha! Yeah, right. Jesse, got your back. Go. Go. Okay, I'm going. Oh no, Petra, she got taken down. Well, I'm taking down Slab for sure. I was just thinking the same thing about you. I am taking Slab down once and for all. <laughs> oh, jeez, I have no sword. Nothing. Oh, if only Jesse could have grabbed Petra's gold sword. Yeah, maybe. Dude, I am like so close. I could do this. Sorry, now I'm winning this thing. Oh jeez, have to jump and climb. Gotta try to make our hey! way up. Jesse, way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? jumped. Oh, Slacker. Whoa! Oh, try to save it. No. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Have to try our best. Who knows, maybe he can make it through with there. Oh, the water, little dude! And ride that wave right back up to the top! Follow me! Alright, time to try our best. 
to make it up top and try to beat M. Probably won't happen that Man. that well now. For you. Thanks for saving me. Yeah, don't mention it. All right, here we go. M's probably gonna have beaten us. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator, formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Oh, jeez. She did betray. Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Jesse looks very heated. Bet you didn't think you'd see me here, did you? This just went from bad to worse. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, no. Please. Oh, jeez. Wow, he is fast at building. You probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. You really trusted Hadrian? That guy's like a creeper in a purple power suit. Hey, you try being yeah, stuck yes. here as long as I have. Then you can talk. <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay, respawning is the worst. <laughs> you. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Before I go anywhere, I want more information. And I wanted to kill you, but they wouldn't let me. Guess that means we don't always get what we want. Come on. Jeez. No. Just Jesse. Ugh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. I don't think Jesse trusts them either. Hmm. Keep up! Come on! Come here, it'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec, I wanna talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse, I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. Come on, Sebastian. They're not gonna make things any worse as long as I'm around. You haven't been here when Mevia starts throwing a TNT tantrum from up there. Yikes. Jeez. Yeah, it's not fun. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have Lapis to do this. Always fun. Jesse, come on! Now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Oh, we're not that late. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, you are just super inconsiderate. You know that? <laughs> come on, I'll just make them blame it on me. Wow, doesn't even look so like they're here. This is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and. <sighs> this is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. But why am I standing around? I, I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything. 
I'm gonna touch everything. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. <laughs> Alright, let's go inspect the bookcase. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming another book from? from Soren? How is Soren having so many books come out? Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. Psst, hey, back. Hey, hey back. Oops. Aw, I scared away a fat friend. I'm sorry, bat friend. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Well, they have a lot of quartz miners. This mall looks suspicious. Wow, an all quartz wall. Impressive. This is the armor of Tim. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have Oh, you Jesus. Here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. I'm not scared of you. Why should you be? I'm trying to give you what you want. You can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. <laughs> and why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow. Oh, uh, it's totally fake. With you still in the picture, it could get messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. I don't really do quiet exits. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? <laughs> I could ask the same of you. I know a lot more than you might think, Sparto. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, Bucko. Of course he's not, he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had maybe a go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. How to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> oh no. Oh! Wow, he's a quick miner. Axel! Olivia! <sighs> oh no. Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm gonna get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am. <laughs> Different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just, wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. What? Your best friend. Ruben. What? That ain't Ruben. So, That's the guy from the con the convention. I've heard all about him. Your best friend. 
Your partner in crime. I'm gonna just keep. Adrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright. You know that? What? I told you, bro, <laughs> but my name is Ruben, but the Ruben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though, seriously, dude, big fat. <laughs> so you used the Atlas oh, to kidnap my funny. friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically no! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. You're messing with the wrong guy. And his friends. Yeah, they're <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Just being supportive. I'm not messing with anyone. <laughs> Thank I'm you, Ruben. I'm trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. You have a deal. Jesse! Hey, hey there we go, sport fans! Well, I tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I think we're all winners here. But just to be sure you don't <laughs> try and renege on me, we'll keep your friends nice and safe in here. Remember, they're counting on you. Slab, be a pal and give our new friend a walk home. Sure thing. Come on, squishy. Oh no. He's blocking them off with obsidian. How does he have so much obsidian? Like, where did he get that all? Oh, he's running back. Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. You didn't take it, right? Oh dear. No! Why would you do that? Oh my, oh my, oh my. I'd have never let you do this. I did it to save you guys. That's what this has all been about. But you'll be trapped. Probably forever. Yeah. And he'll have the redstone heart. Yeah, but at least I know you guys will be free. That's ridiculous. That is There's true. There's no way Hadrian will actually send your friends home. He'll wait till you lose and then send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves that rules, that's for sure. Always plays by him. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good, there's three of them. They're in yeah. Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. <laughs> I think that's your cue to do your thing. Yeah, do this awesome thing. The old builders make you all compete in the games. Event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. 
They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. It's useless. Don't you want to go home, Em? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> <laughs> no way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. Only to make them All do of that it. stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Of course he is. It's all a part of how the old builders keep their control over everyone. That's awful. Seriously. But we can beat them. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Like they got us all on leashes. What, like you're just going to quit? Yeah. Quitting is like for a quitters, dude. I'll be sure to remember that. The next time I've got a gladiator aiming for my head with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but um, those gladiators are like super tough. <laughs> like max level scariness, okay? Boo! It's true. Any one of those gladiators could probably beat any of us to a pulp one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? There's no way they'd be able to do that if we all tried to fight them at once. Oh, I get it now. If we work together as a team. <laughs> okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it. Doing awesome. Those old builders think they're the greatest thing since chiseled quartz, but we will show them that that is not true. Right now, Hadrian's up in that tower, plotting how he's going to beat us all. But what he doesn't know is that his plans are doomed from the start. Because they are going down. Yeah! Not real? Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> Look, it was I a nice that speech. Did it. A but bit. strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even. I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> the action <laughs> definitely uh... seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> That is true. And right there is where we are going to stop for today, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to tune in next time where we're going to finally take on the old builders in the final game uh, of this world. And hopefully we'll finally be able to make our way home. Back to civilized, like the civilization that Jesse and all of them are from. And hopefully we'll be able to save Axel and Olivia. Because... That definitely needs to happen. Oh, and Ruben. We can't forget about Ruben. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys tune in next time for some more Minecraft Story Mode Episode 8 for Season 1. Until tomorrow, though, you guys, make sure you have a good day, and I'll see you.